In this video, we are going to illustrate the procedure for assembling the industrial sonomechanics large capacity inline filtration unit, as well as filtering a nanostabilizer LSO based nano emulsion. Filtration through a hydrophilic membrane is an important post processing step of ultrasonic nano emulsification which eliminates particulate contamination such as dust, microorganisms, plant matter and titanium particles. The new ISM integrated filtration unit makes the filtering step of the nanoemulsion process convenient and highly scalable. For the purpose of this video, we will be using the 1 micron pore size cartridge as we will be filtering nanoemulsion made with nanostabilizer LSO, which is a formulation used to make a water soluble powder. Typical LSO based nanoemulsion droplet size is approximately 170 nanometers. The ISM filter assembly includes stainless steel housing body stainless steel housing base, replaceable cartridge, one inch sanitary flanged outlet hose assembly with clamp and gasket, one inch sanitary flange pressure gauge with clamp and gasket, half inch sanitary flanged bleed valve with clamp and gasket, four inch sanitary clamp and gasket, half inch sanitary flange drain valve with clamp and gasket, stainless steel housing legs, 1 inch to half inch sanitary flange adapter used when working with the BSP1200 ultrasonic processor. Assembly procedure Begin by installing the stainless steel housing legs in the corresponding holes in the filter housing base and tighten fully. Install the drain valve on the housing base by using the provided gasket and half-inch clamp. Flip the base over and keep in mind the position of the inlet and outlet. Note how the small hole on the top of the base corresponds to the inlet and the large hole where the cartridge will fit corresponds to the outlet. When you're filtering, the nano emulsion will enter through the inlet in the housing base, fill up the volume between the housing body and the cartridge, pass through the membrane to the inside of the cartridge and exit via the outlet in the housing base. Open the filter cartridge bag and use purified water to wet the O-rings. Place the cartridge in the corresponding slot of the housing base and turn it clockwise by hand to tighten. Make sure the fins are fully locked. Place the 4-inch sanitary clamp gasket on the base. Install the housing body on top of the base and fasten by using the provided 4-inch sanitary clamp. Install the bleed valve by using the provided gasket and half-inch clamp. Install the pressure gauge by using the provided gasket and clamp. If you're using the BSP1200 ultrasonic processor, you will need to install a half-inch adapter at the inlet of the filtration assembly by using the provided gasket and clamp. Assemble the outlet connection by using the provided clamp, gasket and hose with half-inch adapter. Your filtration assembly is now completed. Filtration Procedure 
During regular processing, the process liquid circulates through the system in clockwise direction. Once the nano-emulsion processing has been completed, turn off the ultrasonic processor and reverse the pump to purge the main liquid lines. Once the lines are empty, you can proceed to the next step. Turn off the pump and close the tank valve. Disassemble the reactor chamber inlet and use the same gasket and clamp to assemble the hose with the inlet of the filter. Open the bleed valve. Close the outlet pinch valve by turning it clockwise by hand. Open the tank valve and set the pump speed to the desired flow rate. Start the pump and wait for the filter housing to fill up. This might take some time. In this case, the pump speed is set to 100 RPM, which is the recommended setting for filtering nanoemulsion made with nanostabilizer LSO. See the nanostabilizer user guides for details. Once liquid comes out of the bleed valve, stop the pump immediately and then close the bleed valve. The collected liquid, if any, can be returned to the tank. Next, we will filter the nano emulsion and store it in a sterilized, dark glass finished product container. Open the outlet pinch valve by turning it counterclockwise. The nano emulsion liquid will be pumped from the storage mixing tank through the filtration assembly and into the finished product container. Once again, start the pump. Fill your pre sterilized glass container with the filtered nano emulsion. We recommend holding the bottle below the level of the filtration assembly. Stop the pump once you finish each bottle. Repeat the step with the next bottle until all nano emulsion is filtered. Continue filling your containers until no nano emulsion comes out of the filtration assembly. Cleaning and Storage Procedure To begin, clean your tank and fill it with purified water. To confirm the filter housing is empty, you can open the drain valve. Make sure to keep a beaker underneath to avoid spills. Disassemble the inlet and outlet of the filter. There may be liquid caught in the connections, so have paper towels available. The filter cleaning procedure consists of flowing purified water through the filter assembly in the opposite direction of filtration until water comes out clear. After that, as an option, you can also clean it in the forward direction. Turn the filter around as shown and reassemble the hoses. Make sure the pinch valve is open. Turn the pump on and run water through the filtration assembly until it runs clear. Continue the process until all water in the tank is finished and there is no more liquid coming out of the assembly. Stop the pump and close the tank valve. Disassemble the inlet and outlet of the filter. If necessary, return the filtration assembly to its original orientation and run purified water through it one more time.
return the filtration assembly to its original orientation and remove the housing body and the replaceable cartridge. Place the cartridge onto a drying rack and reassemble the housing body with the base. Keep in mind that the minimum filtration volume is approximately 3 liters. If filtering smaller volumes is required, you can check out our smaller filters on our web store. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us through our website, sonomechanics.com.